Hey guys, this is Josh. Uh, in this video, we're going to go through a step by step uh, start to finish of getting your PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller to work under Windows. So, first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to find a Bluetooth dongle. I got this one off of Amazon for like 15 bucks. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you get as long as it supports the Windows Bluetooth stack. So, we're going to go ahead and pop that in. Looks like that installed pretty quick. All right, so I'm using Windows 8, so your uh, your display might look a little different for pairing. Uh, but basically, you just want to go into your Bluetooth devices and pairing. Um, pull out your DualShock controller and hold down your PS4 and share buttons at the same time. And you're going to hold that for a few seconds until it goes into pairing mode. And you'll know it's in pairing mode because you'll get a uh, quick double pulse there of the light. Alright, so shows up in Windows here. So we're going to go ahead and say uh, pair. Okay, and the device is connected. And you'll see it turns a solid color to indicate that it does have a Bluetooth PC connection now. I'm going to go ahead and do this for a second controller since I have two. Now, if you have problems getting this far, um, I'd suggest you make sure you uninstall the device, reinstall it, make sure that you're using the Windows drivers. And if you can't get past this um, after doing that, uh, I'd just suggest going online, seeing if there's any new device-specific drivers instead of just Windows generic ones. Um, something else you can also try is if you go into your device settings, Okay, they say um, once the wireless controllers are in here, if they're grayed out or they're not showing up properly, um, you go into this controller properties window by just right clicking and you right click the device, go to properties. That'll pop this up and you want to go under the services tab and make sure that this box is checked drivers for keyboard, vice, etc. Um, human input device. So if that's not checked, you want to check that. That's your reason. So once you've done that, uh, your, com your controllers are pretty much ready to go with games, but the issue is some games do not uh, support the direct input mapping. Uh, most newer games from Microsoft certainly don't because they're pushing their own X input um, for controller mapping. So we need to download a tool, uh, DS for Windows or DS4 tool. Um, the link for that is going to be under this video. The version that uh, we develop um, is coming from DSDCS. So we're going to go ahead and go to installer here. Download that and run it. Now if you get a pop-up box that says that you're missing anything, go ahead and install what it suggests. If you get a pop-up box saying the SCP drivers are required or missing, um, you'll get another installation program that pops up before this. And if you get an option that says force install drivers, you want to go ahead and give that a check, install it, let the program do its thing, close out, and then you should get this window here, which is the actual uh, mapping application installation. So we're going to go ahead and install this. And 
All right, that was pretty quick. Go ahead and run it. And instantly you can see uh, my two controllers there showing up. So now we have uh, we have full device capabilities here, even mouse input you can see right there. Um, and once we have this tool running, uh, we can go ahead and just minimize this. Uh, we can also make it so it always starts with Windows and always starts minimized so it's out of the way and we don't have to worry about it. Um, but yeah, you should be able to play almost any uh, X input uh, supported game now at this point. If you have any questions or anything, comment below the video or see us in the forums.